Hi everyone, it's Sasha from Everyday She's Sparkling. I just wanted to jump in here quickly and show you how I use my WordPress editorial calendar to create themed content. So um, WordPress editorial calendar is actually a plugin and you can find it um, over here in your plugins. Uh, just go to add new. Um, like I said, it's called WordPress editorial calendar. And what that does is it adds to your post up here an actual calendar. So anytime you're adding drafts in your quick draft or if you have the app on your phone, um, WordPress usually just compiles them all in. And if you actually go to your posts and just say all posts, um, I'll just quickly show you. WordPress doesn't automatically have a really great way of organizing it. So you can see I have 60 drafts up here, but if I was trying to like roll through or scroll through and find the draft that I wanted to work on would be kind of a bit of a nightmare. So using this calendar makes this a really great way to be organized. So all you're going to do after you've installed the plugin is you're going to go to calendar under your posts. Now this has a few things in it. It shows all the posts that you have posts. So you can see um, these grayed out ones I've already posted. And then it has a list of all of those drafts that I've created. Now these are drafts that are pulled from the quick draft in the dashboard or um, the draft selection I have on my app on my phone. And it's just um, logging them here. So anytime I get an idea, I quickly throw them in draft mode so that I have a whole bunch of ideas um, so that when I'm going to create some content, I have, I have lots to work with. So then all it is is when you come in, you think of a theme that you're going to, uh, topic that you're going to post on. Maybe it's going to be um, for this particular month, I'm working on productivity and tools for that. So um, you can see uh, this post here is how to use your WordPress, WordPress dashboard to be wickedly productive. So all I did was I went through my posts here, my unscheduled drafts, and I found ones that would work with the theme I'm working with. And then you just literally drag and drop them to the spot you want them to work in. If that's not where you want them, you could move them to somewhere else. If you schedule on a Friday, say instead of a Monday like I do, um, and you can push them back into the unscheduled drafts if you're not ready to work with it. So once they're in here, they're drafts, you can also create a new draft right in here if you have a specific one you'd like to work on. Um, and so you can see I quite easily grab these themed um, drafts to work on. And when you're ready to work on it, you just simply press edit and then you can go ahead and work on it. So it's a really quick and easy way to organize your content for themed uh, content blogging which is fantastic for your SEO. It's great for linking back to previous posts and it's great for engaging your audience so that they come back for more. So I hope this tip helped you and um, I'd love to hear more about your own content batch scheduling. Drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear it. Take care and have a fantastic day.